today's video is all about that my top 10 spring fragrances disclaimer first i am from new zealand september october november is our spring on this top 10 is all about just a niece fragrance i bought some of this just intended for this 2021 spring season and some of them here this fragrance last chance if i really want them to keep or it will grow to me you know um this top 10 guys is just my own selection this is my rotation spring season of 2021 and this is categories is from top 10 unto the top one and guys join me Welcome back yeah let's get it on guys my top 10 here i want this um, spring fragrance to give him a last chance so this is just a bottom 10 because this is one of my um in, in my video if you want to check that this is one of the worst fragrance in my own opinion this is my top 10 is in the house of creed this is royal mayfair this is in the royal um royal line why this is um not really a dumb rich to me uh, i could wear this but i want this to grow on me because you know guys the gin eucalyptus is really an outputting this is a love and hate in the frag comb. the royal mayfair but guys there is a good sandalwood there is a good sandalwood and rose in the dry down that's why yeah that eucalyptus guys is just really gen it's just like a rubbery pursing annoying um eucalyptus opening but the dry down guys there is a dry down of sandalwood and rose so if you pass that three to four hours mark it's lovely but yeah i give this a last chance in the spring this is really a spring guys because there is this booziness the summer guys is more on aquatics you know so i this is really best for spring you know because there is this booziness citrus boozy and you know there is this um eucalyptus fresh side it's like you are in a rainy day and my top nine guys is yes in the house of diptyque my top nine is in the house of diptyque i will give this another chance as well that's why i put this on my 2021 spring rotation because i don't really like this guys this is all about pig tree this is the diptyque pelosicos this is all about pig tree guys fig tree this is all about the fig tree the fig woods the fig fruits the fig leaf and the coconut the coconut um in this vibe guys turn me off um, um i give this a chance guys it will grow on me because there is a good fig vibe to it guys and maybe if i have another three three months to wear this maybe it will grow on me but in my opinion guys this is just a top nine because in my opinion as well this is a love and hate to me so that is my top nine on this season and in my top eight guys is in the house of diptyque again this time it is my preference i like this, this one guys the udi udi parfum is stronger it's long lasting than the udi toilet this one's guys is very woody i really like this thumb down it has cedar wood amber wood 
um, sandalwood and rosewood and there is a must on the dry down this is very masculine guys sexy very woody because it's really it's fresh you know you, you are sewing sewing a wood that's how that smell the cedar wood the cedar wood the sandalwood the rosewood and on top of that on the berry dry down there is musky i love it guys this is really good for spring you know that woody that fresh cedar wood type and there is this musky on the far dry down and the top seven guys is top seven this is very complex guys is in the house of l'artisan parfumé this is the coup de betaver sacre this is so complex guys there is a lot going on here i call this before I call this before a genius, guys. <laughs> the perfumer is in this is genius. The L'Artisan Perfume. This is the Coup de Betaver Sacre. It has everything, guys. The um the first blast is fresh, you know, all the citrus and vetiver. And after an hour, it changed. It kept on changing. It kept on changing because there are lots going on here. It will classify. I will classify this, guys, as fresh. Earthy, aromatic, animalic, musky, fruity, floral, and gourmand because there is dates here in a lot gourmand composition. This is so very complex, guys. It keep on changing. And this is all about fresh. Even though so, there is this deep, far drawn, there is this a little bit so animalic, earthy, but it's still fresh it's really a spring intended fragrance that is my top seven guys in my top six is in the house of tom port this is i call this a spring in the bottle as well it is all about citrus 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 and neroli of course it is tom port neroli portopino Udi Parfum. This is the Udi Parfum version, but this is very disappointing, guys. You will have a maximum of four to five hours longevity. I wonder how the Aqua version, the Udi Toilet version, and maybe an hour, eh? But this is very uh, lovely, guys. A bit a millionaire spring fragrance. Bergamot, um, orange, lemon, bitter orange. Um, and neroli, neroli, and a lot of florals and jasmine in there. Very lovely, guys, but the problem is the performance. Now we are going to our top five. Uh, my top five, guys, is this one. Same as this. I think, guys, I haven't watched any review. I haven't watched any YouTube re or even went to uh, Fragnantica. But when I purse a snip, a smell, this is all about, it smells like this. There are a lot of citrus here as well. And the main flavor is Neroli Jasmine. There is this something else there that make it stand out. There is, um, <clears throat> they put Ochmos in there instead of Floral. But it is really smells like Neroli Portofino. I don't know if this is a clone, but... When I checked at Prognantica, there are 200 something saying that there is this is a clone of that. And I was surprised, guys, why this is like um, projecting more than this. <clears throat> at least six hours more than this. The longevity here is more than the, tor the Tom Port, guys. It's beyond, beyond limit. So that's why it's in number five because it's very long lasting. That is my top five. This is the bond number nine, Udi New York. I think this is how New York spring smells like. <laughs> in our top four guys, our top four is in the house of Itat Libre di Orange. This is the remarkable people this is a spring in a bottle as well this is unique guys 
Clear has a lot of citrus here and there is booziness, this is champagne and sandalwood and this is last long. This is sexy spring fragrance, very fresh and sexy because there is sandalwood and giving um a sandalwood there that's why it becomes sophisticated this is really lovely i really like this i hope and i will dig a lot of this house because this is my first ever but it works really on me i freaking love this guy the house of itat libre the orange and this is the remarkable people today's top three guys is in the house of creed again this is in the line of the royal this is royal oak guys i said i would say this is a spring in the bottle as well very woody guys this is all about um woody guys cedar wood cedar wood sandalwood and there is bergamot black pepper this is really like whoo guys it's it's like wood wood farm it's like you are in the woods it's really woody guys very woody it has super strong cedar wood and bergamot and on top of that there is this peppery black pepper and i really love this guys this is one of um the best in the royal oat and this is deceiving guys <laughs> There is no wood here. I can't really smell wood here. I think there is something, but I can't smell wood here. There is no wood here. This is so fresh and woody. Really spring. It's like you are in the woods, guys, and it is raining hard and you are under the tree. That is how I sent this. That is the number three, guys. The House of Creed Royal Wood. <clears throat> And now our top two and top one. Today, this year, guys, I cannot really. I bottle before I sit here. I was saying, should I put that on number one or should I put that number two? Because it's really, I could say, this is a spring in the bottle, this two. And I would say, guys, this is just number two. And this is. Zerjoff Neo, ho, ho, ho. A spring in the bottle with a touch of sexy. A string in the bottle, guys, with a touch of sexiness. Fresh, aromatic, and there is sexy because of that guayac wood. Bergamot and green notes here. Imagine, guys, there is patchouli and there is guayac wood and cedar wood, of course. The patchouli and guayac create this sexiness and freshness. So that's why this is very love of the frag comb around the world. This is really, really, very good. It's so hard to, to spray this, guys, because it's very expensive. It's just, just like 50 ml with $400. Very expensive. And this is my number two. In the 21 spring season, my rotation. That is number two. And of our number one, guys, would you guess? As always, this is love in my heart. I really love this forever. My deck next year will be number two or number three. By today's rotations, 2021 spring in New Zealand, I rotate this as a number one spring fragrance, the king of spring. No introduction, the green iris tweed. Very good, guys. Lemon verbena, sandalwood, and iris. Very sexy. This is really a spring in the bottle. It's like you are in a field of flower and sleeping and just lying down there. That's how spring smells like. Spring smells like the green iris tweet. And that is our top 10. This is my rotation for this year. Trust this channel, guys. That is my rotation for this year, 
spring 2021 thank you so much guys this channel grows because of your love and support i could not thank you enough always remember it's not how you look now guys it's always how you smell god bless you and peace out